I'm Francesca De Chiara, I'm from Italy, and basically I'm a researcher at the Fondazione Bruno Kessler, uh, based in Trento, one of the first uh, official nodes of the ODI, and the only one in Italy, I have to say. Uh, then I'm working at the Governance Lab at uh, New York University on this exciting project called Open Data 200 Italy, which is a um, project that maps um, data users actually companies, so um, businesses in, uh, in Italy. Yes, because, you know, we are <laughs> like um, recognized for food, for fashion, maybe for sunny weather, for pasta and pizza, but we have also a lot of companies that are making use of open data and are trying to build upon open data. Uh, to, um, and take advantage of these uh, public resources and produce value. So, yes, this is not the first time I was here, I mean, on this stage, so uh, hopefully it's the second time. This is one of the pictures of the ODI, glo uh, ODI Global Network. I, I put this picture here because, you know, um, what we do in Italy, I mean, uh, with the ODI Trento, with the Fondazione Bruno Kessler, is trying to catalyze the, this cultural shift that Gavin was mentioning a lot of times today and also in the past. And yes, Open Data 200 Italy is one of the, uh, our actions, I mean, to try to catalyze uh, this, you know, open data culture and try to establish connection with not just um, government but also with private sector. So, and <laughs> yes, Italy is an emerging country <laughs> in terms of openness. This is the result of the Open Data Barometer, barometer in uh, 2014. We are 22nd, I mean 22, uh, so not really well positioned in the middle, I have to say. And yes, um, these are, uh, this cluster, I mean, of um, emerging and advancing countries are um, uh, countries that, you know, as, have um, opened up uh, at, at, and have, like, uh, many open data initiatives, but also um, are considered, like, potential um, uh, good, uh, you know, open, uh, more open countries. So what, what happened in 2015? Um, our national portal was uh, re, um, I mean, there was a new release of the national portal, so we had also other, other portals uh, launched. Uh, one is Soldi Publici, which is uh, um, about public spending data. Then there was this Open Expo, so we released uh, um, open data about uh, the, um, the ex Expo 2015 in Milan. Then there is this Italia Sicura, another portal that is about um, uh, disaster management. So we put, put out, I mean, uh, a lot of data, but no one is doing a first systematic study of what, uh, I mean, on who is using this data. So. That question that, you know, uh, Joel Gurin was asking last year uh, during, and also Tom, I mean, <laughs> at the ODI Summit 2014 was open data, so what? So, yes, so I was inspired by them. <laughs> I mean, and I tried to catalyze <laughs> uh, these, you know, efforts and bring them in, uh, in Italy. So I started to um, study this, this, you know, um, project called Open Data 500. Uh, which was the first comprehensive study of companies that, that are using open data to generate business, develop products and services, and create social value. And I was intrigued by this open data compass you can see on the screen, which maps the connection between the uh, agencies, I mean the departments, uh, the public departments in the US government, and uh, uh, sectors, uh, the, the companies, I mean, clustered by sectors. So very, very interesting, and we will have the same uh, with our study in Italy. Because actually I'm working <laughs> directly with uh, who has created this study, I mean at the governance lab. And uh, so far, what, uh, what, um, we have mapped like two uh, more than 200 companies in Italy. It, uh, it was really challenging, I mean very, very hard, uh, but very, very excited to do that because, you know, 
I used uh, all my uh, contacts in the, in the open data community. I was used to be um, a researcher, but also an activist in Italy. So I interviewed a lot of people. I was like very <laughs> thrilled to be back and be a sociologist again. So actually, uh, ethnographer. <laughs> yeah. So these are the study goals that uh, are uh, quite the same of the open data 500. So well, mm, the study is not a rating of companies. We just are mapping and uh, try to um, actually map not just companies, but also organization like NGOs. Yes, sorry. And we did, uh, we did it through desk research, uh, like interviews, and we have like uh, sending out this survey and also will be um, open and published on our website. We got a lot of uh, interest by, and that was very, very um, overwhelming. I mean, when we launched uh, the study, a uh, lot of interest of gov from government of Italy. Uh, so the Agenzia per l'Italia Digitale, then uh, private companies uh, uh, we are collaborating with, like Spazio Dati, and we are using this Atoka.io, that is um, a sales intel intelligent product that, that we use to uh, collect information about companies. Actually, many details are closed data, so in Italy, so that was really, really useful for us for our research. Then the Union of Chambers of Commerce are trying to promote and spread, I mean, the word and also the survey uh, through uh, to the companies. And also uh, we are mm, talking to Odine, the Open Data Incubator. So with people from ODI that are running the Open Data Incubator for Europe to gather data um, about Italian companies that are joining the program. And also Finodex, which is another accelerator program, uh, EU funded. So um, I will give you a glimpse of some, um, you know, of the um, what's out there in Italy. So this is a company called Servet. It's a large company, uh, actually not a startup, but uh, a, a group. So they used extensively um, budget and spending data from Open Cohesion Portal, which is a portal released by the Territorial Cohesion Agency in Italy to uh, produce uh, rating services and um, trying to support and uh, decision-making processes for companies. So it's a B2B actually uh, model, business model they run. Then there is Spazio Dati, another, uh, I mean, very important startup in the world of open data. They are uh, like pioneers, I think, as a startup, uh, they started uh, publishing uh, open data catalogs, uh, but now they have uh, released some new products, very, very exciting, exciting like Dandelion, which is um, a text analytic as a service. So uh, that built is built upon the knowledge graph of Wikipedia. So they use open community data. Atoka that I'm, I'm using myself for my research. Uh, and then they have also other projects um, uh, founded by the European Union, but also have a huge investor that invested in the startup some years ago. So there's another um, case, I mean, Planetech, which is in the south, <laughs> which is the news <laughs> in the south, southern Italy. Uh, very, very uh, important uh, company that you know uh, uh, produces tools to better access to open satellite data. The data coming from uh, the program Copernicus and released by the European Space Agency. Then there is MightCube, another startup that is very, very interesting because it's um, like solving pub public problems with this platform called uh, Voglio Ruolo. I want the role. It's a platform for teachers that uh, are uh, trying to find uh, the best uh, region to apply for a position, a permanent position as a teacher. And they use it, they use this um, data from the Ministry of Education. And that is the, uh, not, not last one, no, last, <laughs> last but not least, open move. Uh, I'm very excited about it because I, 
um, uh, the con I contributed uh, in the creation of this startup. I mean, I was running this Trentino Open Data Challenge, and they 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 won the competition, and then now uh, they uh, are you know on the market with this uh, open platform for mobile ticketing. Uh, they were using the transportation data uh, from the regional uh, catalog, from the local transportation agency. And, and there is another startup called Code. So this is from Sardinia and Tuscany. And you know, uh, the, they do like data visualization and they work for media companies uh, using census data primarily from the National Institute of Statistics. So this is our, uh, I don't know if I can call it portfolio. I'm not a venture capitalist, but I, I really <laughs> would like to uh, like simulate um, some investors to come to Italy. And you know, uh, we have a lot of um, companies very, very promising. And that are, that are uh, I mean, my interest is um, about companies that are reusing open data, but these are some takeaways. So as Tom last, uh, last year did, like we are, you know, I think it's uh, the comparison could be um, done because, you know, also we, we see that open data impacts all sectors, not just the usual uh, suspects, so tech startups, so tech companies or, uh, but also other sectors, uh, insurance, uh, agriculture, yes, you can see by December the full result of this study. Uh, then um, in it's, uh, they are um, distributed all over the country, so not just in the north, also in Sicily, I have a lot of case studies. Then uh, there are, there are companies that are just SMEs, uh, also individuals, and uh, different sizes. I mean, many companies of different sizes. Yeah, we will uh, hand the study in December. So stay tuned. And this is the my contacts. Thank you. Thank you, Francesca. And, um, I have to say, it's great to see that the conclusions you're, you're drawing so far are consistent with the ones that we found in, in the UK. I think it's a really strong message about diversity of sectors, diversity of geography, and diversity of size as well. Are there questions from the audience? We have a couple of minutes. Okay, in, in the meantime, I'll kick off with one of my own, um, if you'll indulge me, which is that um, when we were doing our, our study here in the UK, we found it really... Um, it, it was hard enough to identify companies that, that self-identify as open data companies because there's a, an incredible amount of activity out there. And even in, for an organization like the ODI, we don't know all of them uh, personally. So um, we found it hard enough to find those people, but we also um, realized that there's a whole world of organizations out there that we, we would class as open data companies. They meet our inclusion criteria, um, but they just don't realize that they don't think of themselves as um, an open data company. And I was wondering if you could um, share any reflections from your own experience yes, on that issue. Yes, uh, actually in the survey we have uh, included a, a question about the perception of open data. I already did a survey uh, with Finodex Accelerator and I discovered that many companies that were applying for an accelerator that has uh, in, the in the criteria uh, like making ma you uh, make use of open data, they don't know actually what open data is. <laughs> So <laughs> yes, and that was very, very funny, but very interesting because uh, we can work, uh, wor work for uh, for them and try to, um, you know, like showing them opportunities. Happen, uh, it, it actually mm, some companies have contacted me and also my organization to participate to the study and, you know, to find the right person in the company. That is the challenge. I can't, you know, just send my survey to, or my, qu my questionnaire to uh, an address like info.tomhit.com. Uh, you know, I have to find Tom <laughs> and interview don't him. Don't go there, nothing to see there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes, but uh, also the Chambers of Commerce uh, is trying to help and, you know, with focus groups. 
So trying to involve, like the concept of roundtables that uh, were implementing in the US last year, and they are keeping, I mean, in DC doing that. So yes, mm, for me it's exciting because it involves all the actors in the ecosystem. So the government, the researchers, <laughs> the um, startuppers, the pe people from the company, the, the developers, yes, and also the curious activists and civic hackers from Spaghetti Open Data because we are not, you know, like famous for pasta, but our main open data community named uh, itself after Spaghetti. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, on that note, let's thank Francesca one more time. <laughs>